going on guys i hope you all are doing fabulous today um so guys today i'm coming to you guys with a little something not different and it's it's the same it's just i'm gonna do a story time and i'm gonna talk to you guys about relationships um i know i said that this is my year to be very positive positive vibes i'm still gonna have positive vibes but there's just still um, just things that I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, and this one uh, is pretty much relationships like I mentioned before um, Relationships and this one is relationships with family um, I know I haven't really talked to you guys a lot about my family on my channel so far besides my coming out story And that was a couple I was a, a while ago. That was like before I even decided that I wanted to have a, a YouTube channel it's just a video that I threw up there so, um, I really haven't talked to you guys much about family, so, um, I was, and what made me think of doing this, uh, story time with you all is I was going through some of my old, like, literally, like, 15, 20 years ago, old college, uh, college papers, and I was just looking at the stuff that I wrote, and it, one that popped up that I wrote a story in, tw uh, 07 about, 07? about well this one's so seven yeah so seven it was about my brother i wrote this that was a story that i had written about my brother and you know and just like his you know his continued like fight with uh you know just heart failure and all of that and just um and then i ran up on a coming out story that i had did for class and um it made me think about the relationship i have with my mother um, so I don't have a relationship with my mother and that's what I want to talk about, you know? So back then when I came out, which, you know, I didn't, if you looked at my coming out story, um, my best friend at the time had came out to my mother for me, which I didn't ask her to, she just did. Um, you know, I felt like my mother may have knew, known that I, you know, how I was, but just never said anything or thought it was a phase or, you know, like just whatever it was. Um, so, um, but before I get to that, I want to go back to when I was younger. Like when I was younger, I was very, I was a very clingy kid. I didn't speak until I was literally like five and had to speak, um, very shy, just kind of closed off, um, hid behind my mother a lot of the time. So, you know, I felt like she caught up me a little bit more because I was just a little different from everybody else. Um, I have five sisters, one brother. That's my immediate family. That's how many siblings I have in my immediate family. Um, I also, um, I mean, I have a, a lot of nieces and nephews. It's, it's, not a lot to count i think each sibling in my immediate family has about at least five or more kids except for my oldest sister which she only has three kids um so yeah so i have a really big family so you know growing up it was a little it was, it was a lot you know for my mom and my mom took on raising us all herself all of us except for my oldest sister who lived with my grandma until she was old enough until she was like in high school and then she moved back home so um my mom you know she had to take on raising us all keeping a full-time job and just making sure you know every one of us were happy so you know i think that's pretty much how it should have worked um but just kind of growing up i felt like the relationship with my mom and i kind of just kept getting pulled away like I was that child that she really didn't have to uh, maybe worry about, I think, and in, in her, maybe in her head, I, I can't speak for her, she maybe just didn't do too much asking how I was doing or like any of that, you know, like I didn't get any of that, like any of the like talks on like, oh, how you're doing, any of this like, like the woman had like the talks of becoming a woman, none of that stuff I got from my mother, you know, like most of the stuff I heard from my teachers at school. Um, so I don't know, like it, it's always been very difficult. Like 
seriously, I think after, I think after being in junior high, I feel like she kind of gave up on me as a, as a mother, you know, and she, you know, just kind of took pride in her other kids and like, um, you know, you're never supposed to have favoritism with your, with your kids, but certain parents do. And my mother, she did, she had favoritism. It was my brother cause he was the only boy, uh, my oldest, uh, my youngest sister, and then some sibs in between there, but those are the ones that really stick out to me. Um, so it just seemed like none of my issues matter, you know, like I had to fight to get her attention. And like, when you only have that one parent and you're constantly trying to like fight to get their attention, when do you give up? When do you stop doing that? You know what I mean? When do you just kind of like, you know, but you're still young, you don't know, you're still trying to grow. So I spent a lot of times at my friend's house with their parents and just, you know, hanging out over there because I felt like I was wanted. I felt like someone wanted me around, you know, so, um, yeah, and I don't know if that made my mother feel some type of way or not, but she wasn't giving me what I needed from her as a mother. Um, and it's crazy for me to have this, bring this up in a story time after all those years. And I think I am bringing it up because it still bugs me, you know, and I think it's going to constantly forever bug me because I've never gotten that, you know, when you get out of relationships, so you get that closure. I never got that closure. I never got that conversation of why things are the way that they are. And I don't know if I ever will. So for me to have this story time and just talk to you guys so that you know a little bit about me and maybe a little bit about like why I am the way I am, um, you can start connecting the dots. Like I mentioned before, we connect the dots and everything on all of my videos so you can continue to let's get to know who I am and you know what I'm here to do. Um, so yeah, so um, just like I don't know if I've ever ever sat down and had a conversation with her about me. Every time that her and I would sit down and have a conversation, she'd constantly bring up one of my other siblings, something that everybody else is doing. Never stopped once to ask how I was doing. Um, 16th birthday, I don't really know if, I, I mean, I'm not going to say, maybe she was around because I still lived in her house, so yeah. Um, 18th birthday is when the whole big coming out thing happened and my friend, like, decided that she was going to tell my mom how that was so then everything kind of like shut down there and I felt like we I really lost her then when she sent me to live with you know with my sister um so like kind of didn't ever connect back with her after that you know and uh you know you turn 21 and and your mother doesn't even bother to give you a call like, I can sit here and say all of these things. Like, I haven't heard, literally, I haven't heard a Merry Christmas, a Happy Birthday from my mother for many, many of years. Like I said, I have a huge family, and it feels like I am, like, the only child because I don't, I don't hear, really, from them. And, you know, I understand that it is a two-way street, too, but after you try for a certain amount of times, you have to give up sometimes. You cannot always be that person that's always trying always trying to make those connections because it's not really fair to you. And at some point you have to, you have to come to the realization that they don't give two shits about who you are. So you have to find out a way to continue to keep on moving on with your life and be happy and, and be just at peace with it. Hence to me and my positive vibes continuously having those. I still have those as I'm having this conversation, but it is very good for me to get those things out. Um, I think it's, it's healthy and that you do get those out um so that is you know why i am doing this so um yeah so i always i don't so with that relationship with my mother i don't have i i don't think i will ever have it and um i think it's quite sad and um there is sometimes that i want to reach out to her but i don't because I know it's going to be a one-way conversation. I felt like if she wanted to hear from me, she knows how to reach me. She knows my phone number. She knows all of that information. She could reach me. Um, get, come on. Hold on a second. Come, get your butt down on the couch. Let's get on the couch. She's not allowed on the couch. So I make sure she gets down. She likes to do things crazily sometimes. Stop it. And then she bites the paper. So, guys, 
Um, yeah, so the relationship with my mother, that's something that is not existing. And, you know, it. when you get to a certain age in your life, you kind of want to have that relationship with her. You don't want to leave any loose ends out there at all about anything. And, you know, hopefully one day things will change. Um, I'm going to continue to live my life and... And just, um, and I can't like stop and, and think all the time about, oh, what if and why it's and, and this or that. Like I said, it's just good to get those things out, good to talk about those things, you know. So I did and I wanted to. The relationship with me and my mother, the non-existing relationship, which I still don't understand. And I wonder sometimes if it's because I am gay, I am a lesbian. I wonder if that's something that she cannot deal with it she doesn't know how to deal with and maybe she thinks that she went wrong somewhere for it has nothing to do with her at all this is just how I was born and this is just who I am and I can't change that and I will not ever change that for anything or for anyone I am who I am and I just want to be accepted for that and if it's the point where you don't know how to have a conversation with me I think you just have to try, you know, you have to just try, like, and I'm speaking for both parties, because I've tried many of times, if any of you are out there and you want to try to have a relationship with any of your family members that you may have felt like you lost, you have to try, but you cannot continue to keep trying to, like, bring a dead bird back to life if they, if it does, if it's completely gone, you know, so... Um, it's a two-way street, guys. Um, so, um, so yeah, I just definitely wanted to have that um, story time with you guys. And I know it was short, and it was kind of here, and it was kind of there. But I feel like you get the gist of what I was trying to say. And um, if any of you are dealing with anything like that, like not like feeling like maybe you lost your parents because of your sexuality or just because of who you are as a person um you have to remember that you it's you have to continue to keep living for you first um and if you really want that relationship to work then you have to try but like I said don't try and try and try if nothing is working you have to find a way to keep moving on turn the page and live your life and live your life so, you know what, guys? That's all I'm going to say on that, on this topic. So, um, guys, if you like this video, definitely please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Please make sure that you share this video, share any of the videos that I have. Um, guys, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. Um, also, guys, if you have subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you turn on that notification bell so that you are notified when my videos are dropped. And guys, you know what? You have a wonderful day. Positive vibes all over. Positive vibes all over. Have a wonderful day.